on you guys. Sometimes stories just fall in my lap, particularly after the Devil Wears a Tight Dress video that just went up. This is coming to us from Sporting News. Mike Milbury criticized after saying women couldn't disrupt NHL players in bubble. This is written by Jordan Heck. What the heck? Just hear this out, guys. Hockey analyst Mike Mulberry is once again facing criticism for comments he made on air during NHL on NBC. Mulberry faced negative feedback for his take on Tuka Rask earlier this month. Now he's under fire for comments he made about NHL bubble life. <clears throat> Speaking during the Islanders' 4-0 win over the Capitals on Thursday night, Mulberry said there weren't women in the bubble to disrupt the players. His comments came after co-host John Forslund was talking about the environment of the bubble. So he's like, yeah, women aren't there to distract you. You could be focused all in on um, all in on hockey and doing what you got to do. But uh, naturally, the Internet, namely Twitter feminists, took exception to what he said. If you think about it, it's a terrific environment in regard to if you enjoy playing and enjoy being with your teammates for long periods of time. It's a perfect place, Forslund said. Mulberry responded, not even not even any women here to disrupt your concentration. That is a perfectly fine statement to make. OK, it is a perfectly fine statement to make. But you can see this is a, a portion this is a portion of uh, the tweet. It's, the tweet's not loading, but it's 2020. And yet, yeah, and it, it was a clip of my man saying what he said. On Friday afternoon, the NHL released a statement regarding Mulberry's... Com oh my God, bruh. <laughs> this is why Trump's going to win, okay? This is why, like, I'm sorry, but I, I, like Obama, the Biden, the blue team, they represent... The, they represent the chaos, man. The National Hockey League condemns it's the insensitive and insulting comment that Mike Mulberry made during last night's broadcast. And we have communicated our feelings to NBC. The comment did not reflect the NHL's values and commitment to making our game more inclusive and welcoming to all. Men play the game. Like, honestly, I'm not a huge NHL fan, okay? Like, I've watched a few games in the course of life, yeah. But, I mean, it's nothing I've ever gone out of my way to, um, to, to, to enjoy. But I am familiar with tons of people who have. And most of them are dudes, you know, of a, particularly of a certain pigment. So, you know, let them rock out. Let them, let them have their fun. And he wasn't wrong. That's the thing. Like, they, like, what, women aren't a distraction? Literally anything could be a distraction because if you're like, like, let's say you are uh, alphabetical, right? Then a dude's, another dude's dong's going to be a distraction. So, yeah, like, I mean, literally anything can be a distraction. But to sit here and be like, oh, yeah, well, oh, oh, this is the most offensive thing I've ever heard in my life. Cut it out. Cut this nonsense out. NBC Sports said in a statement via the Associated Press, we're disappointed about Mike's insensitive comment and have addressed it with him. Mike Mulberry added, I sincerely apologize for making the comment. <sighs> it was not my intention to disrespect anyone. I was trying to be irreverent and, it and took it a step too far. It was a regrettable mistake that I take seriously. It wasn't a mistake. It was a factual freaking statement. And to sit here and have this man do the whole dog and pony. Oh, my goodness. And, you know, come out with the Oliver Twist um, hand in hat, hat in hand situation. Like, please, please don't, please don't fire me. Come on, man. Miss me. And you know what? I am reminded of a story that took place literally two weeks ago where the Seahawks player ended up getting cut because she he tried to dress a chick up as a dude so he could slip it so he could get in the hotel and get in the guts. What? The, like, yo, so to sit here and act like this isn't a factual statement is nonsense of the highest order, sir. ESPN reporter Greg. Yeah, I'm not trying that. Added, he heard that Mike Mulberry is not going to be part of the Flyers Habs broadcast Friday night. While NBC Sports did not release a statement saying this Mulberry's name is not listed in the broadcast crew in the network's press release because, oh, yes, he, he sinned. He sinned. Oh, so this is nonsense. NBC Sports and NHL released their statements after many voiced their concerns about their sexual comments on Twitter on the sexist about the sexist. Com See, that's the thing. You're calling the comment sexist when it's not. A, it's a factual statement, not a sexist comment. 
Ew, D bags, man, for real. Donovan Bennett. Oh, oh, some some quote unquote black dude. Yeah, yeah. Check the lineage on this guy. Heteronormative sex. Oh, he's using the language, guys. What I tell y'all, cis heteronormative, all that fun stuff. He's using the grievance study language, man. Heteronormative sexist, factually incorrect, a terrible. T How is it factually incorrect? How? How? Literally anything can be a distraction. Here, like and this, you can you can remove like the woman part from it anyway. Like, yo, if you got if they playing 2K too much, that can be a distraction. So what are you talking about? There is so much going on here, and none of it is a good look. Oh, yeah, that's that. Yeah, I'm using that voice. I'm using that voice because that's what Donovan Bennett is. Then you know, a bunch of chicks. We're not even going to Sarah Spain. Oh, uh, Al Alex Shavansky. I'm not usually one to call for someone said, but NBC needs to get rid of Mike Mulberry saying something like, and there weren't even women there to distract them. Isn't saying, as I drink my vodka. It's 2020, and hockey fans are diversifying. They slash we deserve better. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, like, I went from a Russian thing to a French thing there, but either ways, yeah. <laughs> this is this is this is dumb. This is so dumb. Hold on. Okay, so uh, this is some chick, Sarah Siv. I spent the last two seasons as the only woman traveling with NHL team. and was treated with nothing but respect. And I can assure you, no one was distracted. Yeah, honestly, they were on their best. Fr they, they were more than likely on their best freaking behavior because nobody wants to lose their job, miss. Hockey is evolving. It's time the voices of hockey evolved with it. I'm sick of listening to this. Oh, we've broken the NFL. We've broken the NBA. And you know what, hockey? You're next. NASCAR? Yeah, we bent NASCAR over too. Hockey, you're next. You're about to be feminism's bitch. <laughs> Hannah Stewart deleted my tweet from last night. Here's my take after I slept. What Millberry said here isn't just sexist, it's dangerous. Oh. Hockey culture already has enough of a problem re seeing women as lesser than. No, seeing women as women. We ain't the same damn thing. Like stuff like this is why assault accusations are taken. Wow. Wow, way to take it and run all the way to the left field with it, huh? Guys, this is ridiculous. Mr. Mulberry said absolutely nothing wrong and he shouldn't be begging for his life. I have a little bit more. I, 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 can, I can understand the situation that took place in the... Um, with one with a recent uh, baseball announcer, where he was like, "Yeah, it's a city of um, you know of of derogatory terms for the alphabetical community." I, I I can see that a little bit better than this because literally what he said was like, "If you that's what my comment section's for." Okay, so with that being said, we're gonna bring this one to an end. All the internet stuff. If you like to toss it, like this, like go ahead, do that too. Nobody's scared of you. Sub, enjoy my fantastic voice, and we'll get videos like this every single day. Share because sharing is caring, and YouTube and bitch you know, like aren't the biggest fans of your boy over here for very obvious reasons. Bang the bell for notifications. Uh, get get something from the Teespring. New merch in the store, uh, including the BLM Antifa South Park. Uh, you know, a little pace thing. You guys kind of like, hey, hey, is that merch? It, well, it is now. And speak. Let me know. What do you guys think in the comments? Uh, this is ridiculous. Like he said, he made a factual statement and now he's saying here having a bag and grovel. This is nonsense. But you may disagree. That's what my comment section's for. Until the next one.